Hi, I'm Kirby Allison, and we love to help the well-dressed take care of their wardrobes. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to properly pack your dress shoes for travel in order to prevent any scuffing or scratching. If you have any questions or comments during this video, please feel free to ask them in the comments section below. I enjoy getting back to as many of those questions as I possibly can. The two most important considerations when packing shoes for travel is first, preventing any type of deformation to the shoe itself, and secondly, preventing any type of scratching or scuffing to the leather. In order to do this, there's two important products that it's essential to use when packing your shoes and luggage. First is a pair of shoe trees to prevent any type of deformation to the shoes uh, whenever the luggage closes. And second is a proper shoe storage bag to prevent any type of scuffing or scratching to the leather uh, from anything else that's in your luggage. Before placing each shoe in a shoe bag, I always first insert shoe trees. I always travel with my shoe trees because I wanna make sure that they will keep their shape and aren't crushed in my luggage. Taking shoe trees with you when traveling is also great because you can insert them at night to ensure that your shoes dry properly and to minimize any creasing. If I'm traveling with just one pair of shoes, say for a short one or two night trip, uh, I always pack shoe trees separately in my luggage so that I still have a pair of shoe trees to use when storing my shoes at night. We offer a variety of lightweight shoe trees on hangerproject.com for traveling so that they do not add any unnecessary weight. But that said, the additional weight of a few pair of wooden shoe trees is always worth the benefit. The second most important consideration when packing shoes and luggage is to do so in such a way that protects the shoes against scuffing and scratching. I always double bag my shoes uh, for added protection when traveling. Here at The Hanger Project, we offer a variety of different shoe storage bags, uh, but this one right here is just our simple Hanger Project uh, Deluxe Twill uh, shoe storage bag that's made out of a really plush cotton twill. Now, I prefer to double bag my shoes just for added protection when traveling. This added protection just ensures that I don't have to worry about any type of scuffing or scratching from anything else that might be in my luggage. A great tip for packing shoes and other heavy items is always to pack them towards the bottom of the luggage closest to the wheels. This is important because it prevents your heavy items from shifting to the bottom of the luggage when your luggage is upright and rolling through the airport. I also take care to pack soft items such as t-shirts around my shoes, and I always pack harder items such as toiletries or maybe even an extra hanger away from my shoes just to prevent any risk of those hard items from damaging the shoes. So to summarize, there's three main things you wanna keep in mind when packing shoes with, for travel. First, you always wanna pack your shoes using shoe trees in order to protect the shape of the shoes and to prevent them from collapsing in the luggage. Second, you wanna use shoe bags in order to prevent any type of scuffing or scratching to your shoes during travel. And I personally always prefer to double bag my shoes just for extra protection. And lastly, when packing your shoes in your luggage, it's important to store them towards the bottom, away from any other hard items, and to pack and utilize as much of your soft items around your shoes for added protection. And that's it, your shoes are ready for travel. If you wanna see how I pack an entire suitcase for a trip to London, watch our traveling tips, how to pack a suitcase video. If you're concerned about the additional weight of a wooden shoe tree, we offer a variety of lightweight travel shoe trees here at The Hanger Project. In today's video, I'm wearing one of my bespoke Chris Despis suits. This is a, a, a navy or a blue a fresco suit with patch pockets. I'm wearing a bespoke Charvet shirt, of course, in my trademark white, along with one of our sovereign grade uh, regimental uh, rep ties. Of course, like all my suits, these have tab trousers, uh, which I really enjoy for just the simplicity and, and the elegance. The trousers are uncuffed, and I have a pair of our small dot Palatino socks that beautifully match uh, this suit. And then today I'm wearing a pair of my St. Crispin's uh, cap toe Oxfords uh, that are dark brown. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up and please subscribe to our channel and turn on your notifications by clicking the bell to the right of the subscribe button so that you can learn whenever we release new videos. If you have any questions or comments about anything we discussed on this video, please ask them in the comments section below. 
And of course, please visit hangarproject.com where we have the largest, most comprehensive collection of luxury garment care and shoe care accessories in the world, as well as many other incredible products for the well-dressed. And while you are there, subscribe to our newsletter to receive notifications of new product launches, promotions, as well as a weekly digest of all the videos we publish here on our YouTube channel. I'm Kirby Allison, and we love to help the well-dressed take care of their wardrobes. Thanks for joining us.